in safely through another door somehow. I was almost expecting to break her legs and die. Well, now where the hell are we? Oh, hey. Just a person, I guess. Passed out. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Is this another maze? I don't think I got another pattern for this one. Oh, God. Are we stuck? Oh, no. I don't actually know where we are at all. <laughs> ah! What the hell? Jesus. <laughs> actually, that actually freaked me out. I don't even know where I am. Oh, little marshmallow. I knew we had so much in common. I just knew it. You're just full of surprises, aren't you? I dreamt about you. I've dreamed that you and I were the in one of those gurneys. We were strapped together, tied and tight. No one was going to take us apart. I slowly slid my hand under your robes. Oh. Undressed you. You were so soft. But. Hmm. All the things I want to do to you, little marshmallow. Would you moan? Would you squeal? Would you whimper? Uh. I'd like it. <laughs> I'd like it if you screamed. I imagine you'd give the most wondrous scream. Would you scream for me? Would you scream real good? Simon is yours, and you are mine, little marshmallow. You're getting kind of lewd. Uh, help. I'm in a elevator. Help, help me. Okay. Huh? Oh dear. Oh my, this is quite a pickle, isn't it? How so ever will you get out? I don't know. I don't know. I, have, I don't have an answer for you. Why are you screwing with me again? How did you check that wall over there? What, right here? Right here? Right here? This one? This wall? That one? This one here? Yep. <laughs> of course you have. Ah, uh, you... You jokester, you. I guess you I'll just know, stand here. I can probably help you out here. If you're just willing to close your eyes. I'm not gonna do it. Let up. I already did it once, nothing happened. Why should I do it now? Just close up. I'm good. Thanks. Have you ever closed your eyes and seen colors form on the back of your eyelids? Or you lay your head to the rest and there's a sound coming from where there should be none? Why can't one dream with their eyes awake? Why is the darkness of the world so much more terrifying than the darkness beyond their eyes? It's the unseen. Close your eyes. ASMR, 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 ASMR. He really wants us to close our eyes. I'm beginning to I'm beginning to understand why this game is called Close Your Eyes. Something there through the bar. <laughs> I'm good. I don't I don't think I want to do that. I think something might be a little bit spoopy. I don't think I have much else of a choice. All right. Scare me game. Oops. Did I not do it? Oh, I can't move. Oh, hello. Do you know where you're going? <laughs> not a not a single idea. Really? You have no idea. You know, there's been something I've been meaning to ask you. The subway system, if we can still call it that, wasn't anywhere close to where you were supposed to be executed. Okay, so I successfully, successfully have run away then? So why'd you come here? 
What drew you here? You don't need to answer that. After all, I already know the answer. Because it was you! So far, you've been an amazing contestant. But the stakes are rising, and the challenge is only going to get tougher as we move on to round two. You sensed it, haven't you? Things aren't going to get any better. Yeah, this dude's just screwing with me. There's no way you're going to escape death, you know. At least in any meaningful way. You're a wanted man. You've done terrible, terrible things that can never be forgiven. You were used, disposed, tarnished. Who really cared for you? Did anyone ever really help? And in the end, here you are. Utterly, truly, alone. Besides me, of course. Let me give you a piece of advice. Ghosts are. They haunt every one of us until the day we die. We just try to forget that they're even there. Feigning ignorance has always been one of humanity's most unique, beautiful, twisted ways of self-defense. Don't forget your role in this. Now hurry! I hear that some people are just... <laughs> that was a pretty good laugh. Alright, that was good. I like that. Hey, I'm out of jail! Again. Obtained Balbus key. The, the, what the, the, what the, what's a Balbus? There's no keyhole now. <sighs> There's a new, a new villain afoot. The keyhole thief. How he does it, I don't know. So hey, there's a save point in this room now, despite this looks like a familiar area. Or is it? No, it seems to be another part of... This door wasn't here before. Anyway, it's locked. I don't see a keyhole either. Seems a bit of a difference in layout going on. Something weird's happening. But it is still, like, this area, though. Which means I am, once again, gonna get lost. I don't know what these made-up shapes are. <laughs> Maybe they're not made up, I don't know. They sound pretty made up, though. Am I still killing people? Like... Killed a lot of people. Well, now I'm just finding keys. I don't require to stab a bunch of people to find the key inside of their body. So hey, progress. Or was, is this... I am so confused. I'm gonna get lost in here a lot, I think. Oh crap, something's happening! Where the hell am I? What the hell is that? What's going on? What the hell? Oh god, now where are we? What was that? I'm asking the same damn question. What the hell? Well, I'm definitely gonna save now. We got sp spoopy jump scare villains going on. I could die at any moment. Especially with the music still being going. Still, still being going. Having a really hard time talking today. Especially the music's still going nuts here. Not exactly relaxing. Doesn't doesn't speak to me good things. Oh crap. Oh crap. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, there's just monsters around, man. Yeah, saving is definitely a thing I'll need to do. So I gotta find my way around and I gotta avoid getting killed, so okay. At least I would assume that that's what that thing does, considering it was screaming and chasing me earlier. I think it'll be a good idea to continue not letting it touch me. I have no idea where I'm going, though. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, da. That's unfortunate. Yep, good thing we saved. All right. So I don't exactly know what I'm doing in here, so... Just trying to find a way through. Maybe I was heading in the right direction there, I don't know, but let's see if there's any other paths I happen to miss in the meantime. It's very difficult to see in this game, it's quite dark. All these rooms are dark. Look at a very, very small glow. Yeah, this seems like a very correct direction, because here's a door! Hey, Obtain the loop, loop, luminous skate. Leb, lebdy skate. Oh my, that must have given you quite a fright, little marshmallow. At least you're finally beginning to see. I don't want to keep anything from you, my little marshmallow. So here's a key, my beloved. It'll bring us one step closer. I give it in good faith. This key actually has two uses. The key can be used to exit the front door of the manor, which is where you'll find me, off in the forest. However, if you for some reason still have business in this forsaken house, the key may also open the right wing of the manor on the first floor. I'll be waiting for you, my love, but be careful. It seems the dead want you dead. Okay, so we can continue exploring or leave. So... You know what? Let's see what happens when we leave. There's a save point right there. You can figure this out, it's fine. Let's go figure out who the hell these notes are from. I'm quite, I'm quite curious. Curiosity killed the cat as it may be. But I, I gotta find out, man. Oh, and another save point too. Good thing this game offers a lot of saves. <laughs> it's quite handy. The hell is this? Huh, that's a pretty care creepy scarecrow. I'd say. Bet it's more effective than a lot of them. I have no idea where I'm going again. That's gonna be a running thing in this game, isn't it? <laughs> the being lost at any given time. Alright, there's a path, I think. Oh. Wait, who's this? This really gives me Silent Hill vibes, I gotta be honest. Seems to be a lot of that kind of thing going on. Come back. You're faster than me. I can only bob so fast. You again. Yep. I guess we're both headed the same way. Huh. It seems that way. Which probably means... Who are you? What are you hiding? Spit it out! What, can't you talk? If you're here and I'm here... Ugh. Just forget it. <laughs> uh... I don't usually hear people actually say out the word "ug." I'm looking for someone. I don't know if they're here. In fact, I don't even know who they are. But if they're here, I need to see them. Are you getting the same notes that I am? Otherwise... But I imagine you're doing a significant less amount of stabbing people in your adventure. A tombstone with a epitaph. Josh Pebble, January 21st, 1987. The nicer one of the two. A blank tombstone. 
Beloved wife, sister, daughter, mom, I'll never forget you. With an eye-shaped button toward the front of the base of the statue, I should go to there to interact with it. Oh. There's a statue here with a strange eye-shaped button at the base along with an inscription. Open your eyes to the truth, close them to the lies. Press the switch. Did I do bad things? I think I did bad things. Illuminate the path of, to the underworld, O oh, seer of truth, seer of lies. What started as one that became two, they never saw eye to eye except where eyes were concerned. Yes, it is what he said. Yes, is how he was read. It was all he had at a midsummer dream, so fitting he died giving a midsummer scream. Nine. What the hell is this? What is math? I'm gonna write this down, whatever the hell this is. Nine. Eh. Eight. Plus three, negative 72. Whatever the hell that thing is, one, two, one. I don't need math in my video games. Let it be seen, let it be heard. Poke the eye when you have learned. There's a button here, press it. Uh, probably not yet. It seems like I don't do that quite yet. So those appear to just illuminate the place, so let me light it up, I guess. Let's light this place up. <laughs> nah. Nah. I'm just gonna turn all of these on in the meantime. It's probably, I'm probably only supposed to turn on the specific, specific ones and then a thing will happen, but I'm gonna start with turning them all on in case that this is not actually that complicated. And I'm just supposed to turn everything on. Yeah, that did not appear to, uh, do a thing. Let's see what happens when I just press this. Nothing happened. Okay, so I, that, there's some kind of puzzle here I gotta figure out in order to continue, I guess. But, uh, I, I have no idea what that is. And you know what? Oh, I don't want to solve this. I don't want to solve this puzzle. I'm stuck in here. I'm stuck in here until I figure this out, aren't I? Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Let me, let me, let me actually try this then. Illuminate the path to the underworld, old seer of truth, seer of lies. Was started as one, but then... Ah, there we go. Okay. So, alright, that took me a while to kind of figure out, and I wasn't really talking during that, because I was just sitting here reading what I wrote down and trying to figure things out. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? So, for... Just to try to explain what this puzzle is. So, everything in that book, each different sentence or paragraph, whatever, was a different hint. And, uh, let me just read the ones that I checked off and explain what part of the hint made sense to it. Yorkie Smith. Uh, yes is what he said, is what I wrote down for this one, and his name's York E. Smith, Y-E-S, so that was one of them. Let's see. <laughs> Tom Sunderland, July 16th. Remember caution, slippery when let signs serve a purpose. I thought that was just funny, but it actually served a purpose. There was a Midsummer Dream mention, and that's in July. Uh, I don't know why I read that one. This one, I actually couldn't figure out. Simple man with a simple wife. I actually, I, I thought I'd kind of figure out the rest of these, and honestly, the last one, I just tried with all these on and then every single one of these and it turned out to be this one. I think that one is the math one and I don't know what the hell that is. I can't figure it out, don't know what it is. I'm not good with math so I gave up. Oops, there's no reason to press this, but these were two brothers and it said never saw eye to eye and I was like, well, these are two people, two brothers who died and they did different things. So that was one of them. And yeah, it, it, everything was just a hint. So, there we go. Whatever. That took me a while. Have you ever dreamed of flying? Did... Ha... You ever have a dream that you... That, um... That you could... That... That you... You wanted him to do you so much that you could do anything? Or are you afraid of heights? 
It's just, they seem so distant, so beautiful. So this ended up being a lot of progress, and now I feel like I missed stuff in the mansion. Whoops. Really though? Afraid of heights? With everything that you do, I thought you wouldn't be afraid of anything. Guess everyone's afraid of something, huh? Listen, I know you're a responsible person. You take on a heavier duty than anyone I've ever known. He tries so hard, and he trusts so much. You're an idealist, you know. I know that's kind of a weird thing to say, considering what you do. But you aren't a monster. Animals kill each other all the time for survival, to prove superiority. I guess the reason we can't do that is because we know too much. It's scary how much more complex the world becomes as you learn more about it. The responsibility of knowledge. Let me ask you something. Do you want to kill me? Well, do you? Well, if you ever do, you have my what? What? You have my permission, okay? I don't mind if it's you. You've done so much for me. Yeah, you, you've been such good friends. You can, you can kill me. You can kill me a little bit. I sometimes dream that I'm a bird. Soaring far above the earth. Further and further into the horizon. I suppose that birds must be fairly perspective. They can see tiny worms from right up there, after all. I know, I don't actually want to be a bird. Being that delicious would be a problem. I think I might just eat myself. Probably the novelty of pooping every anywhere would be a stretch thing doing it several times a day. I guess I just want to be free. With you, I feel more free than I ever have. Kind of funny, you know, because of your situation. I get it! I kill people! Do you ever regret what I've asked of you? Do you... Oh, Jesus! Do you ever get tired reflecting on those good old days? Giving you the whole free as a bird routine. Do you think she really cared about you? She was just using you as a tool to do her dirty work, you know? But I guess what I think doesn't matter. After all, you're the contestant. What do you think? You think she's trustworthy? Well, she said I could kill her, so, I mean, I'm pretty good at that. I enjoy doing that, it seems. Oh, yeah, I trust her more than you. Oh, I'm hurt. Seriously. You know I'll never lie to you. Right. Hey, here's that song again. And with that, I think I'll actually save and stop recording for the day. I have other things that I need to attend to before I head out to work tonight. I have a graveyard shift. Woo! Woohoo! Anyway, this has been Blue Bomber IMO. Thank you very much for watching. And next time, we will continue. Close your eyes. Until then, have a great day. Hey, thanks again for watching the video. If you enjoyed your time here, be sure to hit the like button. It helps out a lot. If you want to see the next episode, go ahead and click or tap here. If you want the entire playlist for this series, click or tap here. And if you're new here and want to catch my future videos, click or tap on the circular icon here. Alright, remember, you're the bomb.